Saturday, April 30th, 91.3 KMSA, the Metal Authority, held the second annual For Those Who Have Rocked Music Fest. Five bands performed in order to benefit the Western Slope Honor Flight, an organization that sends World War II vets to Washington, D.C., so they could see the memorial made in their honor. The Yamani Experience kicked things off by introducing their brand of off-kilter experimental rock to the eager crowd in VFW post-1247. And local stars beyond society went on next, giving the crowd an emotionally charged, aggressive post-metal performance. Next up, local legends Beer Death made their triumphant return to the stage, grinding the heads of all in attendance for their 35-minute blast attack. Switching gears a little bit following Beer Death's drunken grind, Soul Aggression stepped on stage and turned more than just a few heads. Many had written Soul Aggression off, but they stepped it up and displayed some powerful new material, as well as some improvements to old material. With this performance, Soul Aggression made their mark as one of the best bands of any genre who call the Western Slope their home. After some initial confusion, Royal Talons finally took the stage after battling the harsh and snowy late April Interstate 70. It's a good thing we were running such a powerful PA system because man were they loud. Reminiscent of early to mid 90s era Earth, just turned way up to 11, Royal Talons was impressive on just about every level. Due to their late arrival, only a dedicated few remained in attendance for the conclusion of the show. If you weren't there, you missed out. All in all, For Those Who Have Rocked 2 was a great success. This night alone, we raised over $500 for the Western Slope Honor Flight, which ain't bad for a local metal show. All of the bands surpassed expectations, each one gaining more fans when all was said and done. For 91.3 KMSA, The Metal Authority, I am Hatchet to the Head, and I hope to see you all next year at For Those Who Have Rocked 3.